you. Thank you everybody for being here. I've seen this industry from the inside. 16 years ago, I co-founded a biotech company with my best friend, who's a scientist. I'm not a scientist, but he is. And we ran that company for seven years. And then we went out of business because the investors were not interested in investing more money in infectious disease cures because they put profit over people. And we knew then that pandemics were going to happen and that we needed to be prepared. But our society chose not to prepare for this pandemic. I'm still in close contact with my friend. And a year ago, when the pandemic broke out, one of the first things he said to me was, this is going to be devastating in the developing countries of the world. I'm from one of those countries, Suriname, in South America. My wife is from India. Her cousins are on ventilators right now. This is a terrible tragedy that's playing out in front of our eyes. And as has been said before, the vaccine is a marvel of modern science. But it doesn't belong to the companies who made it. It belongs to the people. The only reason they were able to make this vaccine so quickly is because the DNA or the RNA of the virus, in this case, was shared with the world. So it doesn't belong to Moderna. It doesn't belong to Pfizer. It belongs to us. It's right. I am one of two socialist councillors on the nine-member city council of Cambridge. And we are building, we're building with you, because these problems will continue as long as we allow capitalism to dominate, as long as we allow profits to be more important than the lives of people. That's right. That's right. So in addition to protesting and asking for what is right, we also need to vote, we need to elect people who will do what is right. So I hope that you will all participate in the election this year, because we have another one coming up in November, and that you will petition the city council to also make its voice heard on this issue. Because not many people don't know this, but the city council of Cambridge weighs in on global issues all the time. So please do reach out to my office and I would love to work with you all to put a resolution on the agenda that demands that the vaccine be free for all. Woo!